Come and see my new film, Two Days in New York, a sequel to Two Days in Paris, which of course you've all seen, with a new wonderful man, Chris Rock. Girlfriend's family just got in fresh from Paris. My father-in-law was detained at customs for trying to smuggle in 30 pounds of sausage. Do I need to look anywhere else, sir? Everybody in the movie's French except me. So I'm the guy who you, the American, is relating to. Nice to meet you. Peace. Peace. One, two, three. <laughs> Mingus is writer. You write too? Father. Sweetie. The guy's been through a divorce. Oh, you know, he's meeting his new in-laws. He's got like a, you know, it's like, like grown up problems. Good night, big daddy. When I was writing the screenplay, he's the first person that came to my mind. Who's my sweet little Carla bear? Is that what I have to say to get laid? But I saw someone else there, like a little opening, something else than, you know, stand-up comedian Chris Rock. Your daughter, nice. I like you, Mingus. Good man. I, giddy, giddy, giddy. Yeah. <laughs> It was kind of like a fantasy of mine to put my dad and Chris Rock face to face because they are so different. They come from such different worlds. Food! Yum, 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 yum. Your family's hungry and it's making me nervous for some reason. They're, they're like a reverse waiting for Godot. But wherever you look, there's always one just lurking in the corner. Julie's dad, more than anybody, is kind of like, you know, the Tasmanian devil of comedy just whirling. Just thing. Would your dad have a Kia car? Of course not, that's impossible. And my dad is not someone who's impressed by the fact that he's Chris Rock. My dad doesn't care about anything. He's a total hippie anarchist. So celebrity for him is, doesn't mean anything. I think Chris sometimes was a bit like, oh my God, what is he gonna do to me? What is he gonna do? Well, she wants me to be uncomfortable. And my guy is pretty uncomfortable the whole movie. And it works. It was strange to film New York because New York has been filmed so well by so many people that I was a bit shy with filming New York. Like I always say, I love comedies that have like short jokes and then five minutes later jokes on the meaning of life. You know, I kind of like the mix of both. <laughs> it's my Rablisian kind of spirit, French spirit of like, you know, dirty, but at the same time, you know, kind of intellectual. My sister is out, she's out of her mind, she's crazy, I don't want to see her anymore, and this guy, they're out. You don't hear me. They all gotta go. It was like a real part. You know, it wasn't like a comedy part. You have children, you have to pick up the phone, they could be hurt, they could be dead, pick up the phone. I looked at it like, this is the closest I'll get to being in a Woody Allen movie. Maya just got in fresh from Paris. Would your dad have a Kia car? Of course not. Should I be mad? It's just your ex camped out in our. Oh, the shed route.